Salim, who was Akbar's son, succeeded the throne on November 3, 1605, eight days after his father's death. Salim ascended to the throne with the title Jahangir and thus, at the age of 36, he began his 22-year reign. He soon after had to fend off his own son, Prince Khosrau Mirza, when the latter attempted to claim the throne based on Akbar's will to become his next heir. Khosrau was defeated in 1606 and confined in the fort of Agra. Jahangir considered his third son, Prince Khoram, who succeeded Jahangir and took the title Shah Jahan, his favourite. As punishment, Khosrau Mirza was handed over to his younger brother and was partially blinded and killed. In 1622, Jahangir sent Prince Khuram to fight against the combined forces of Ahmednagar, Bijapur and Golconda. After Khuram's victory, he turned against his father and made a bid for power. Khuram murdered his blind older brother Khosrau Mirza in order to smoothen his own path to the throne. As with the insurrection of his eldest son Khosrau, Jahangir was able to defeat the challenge from within his family and retain power. But before moving ahead, let us know about the East India Company. The East India Company was an English, later British, joint stock company which was founded in 1600. It was formed to trade in the Indian Ocean region initially with the East Indies, the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia, and later with East Asia. Later on, the East India Company persuaded King James to send Sir Thomas Rowe, who was an English diplomat as a royal envoy, to the Agra court of Jahangir. He resided at Agra for three years until 1619. At the Mughal court, Rowe allegedly became a favourite of Jahangir. The immediate result of the mission was to obtain permission and protection for an East India Company factory at Surat. While no major trading privileges were conceded by Jahangir, the British came to India during Jahangir's reign. Jahangir had nine wives. His favourite wife was Noor Jahan. She had coins in which her name was imprinted and was a woman of remarkable strength. She was witty, intelligent and beautiful which was what attracted Jahangir to her. She saved Jahangir from Mahabad Khan, a rebel. During Jahangir's reign, he had military campaigns against Maharana Amar Singh Van, Maharana Pratap's son and successor. Jahangir was responsible for ending a century-long struggle with Mewar. A campaign against the Rajputs was pushed so extensively that they were made to submit with great loss of life and property. In 1627, Jahangir passed away while travelling from Kashmir to Lahore. If you haven't yet, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.